I'm Joni Patree and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'd like to talk about the nakshatra Ardra, which Ardra is contained completely in the sign of Gemini and extends from 6 degrees 40 of Gemini to 20 degrees of the air sign Gemini in the sidereal zodiac. Ardra is symbol is a teardrop and it does have many connotations to tragedy and sadness because its ruling deity is Rudra, the storm god. It represents the howler and what this nakshatra can symbol, symbolize is the storms, the many storms, the dark night of the soul and how violent storms can be. But following <clears throat> we do come to the nakshatra Purnavasu, which means return of the light. And Purnavasu is about that the sun shines after the stormy dark night of the soul or the storms, the sunny day that follows. So talking about Ardra, <clears throat> the, the planet that is relative that rules Ardra, if you want to call it a planet, is Rahu. Rahu rules Ardra, so you can see this is the extremes of what this nakshatra is about. The star is Betelgeuse, and Betelgeuse is situated <clears throat> in the shoulder of Orion, and it's a star of power. So this is a very powerful, powerful nakshatra, and <clears throat> it gives many many ups and downs. That star is relative to ups and downs, but it does give an active, intelligent mind. So there is some sharpness with the in intellect here, and it can give wealth and it can give honor. So there's not all bad within the star, because what the star is truly about is destruction. And many times things have to be destroyed in order, in order to begin and start anew. So with this, you're going to find that this nakshatra in terms of dealing with destruction, I mean this deals with the mythology of Rudra as the destroyer. And Rudra is, some, is sometimes equated to a form of Shiva. And remember, dancing Shiva is the one that destroys Maya, the illusion. So that's what you're going to find steeped in the mythology of this nakshatra. But when I talk about this nakshatra, the storm god, the dis and the symbol being the teardrop, and it is also called the moist one, and this could be relative to the teardrop, but it does deal with fertility, productivity. But its symbology is really about the sadness and the storms and the destruction that it, it entails with this nakshatra. So you're going to find that this nakshatra deals with so many instances of tragic events, things that, that break, things that end, things that are, have to be destroyed. So people with this, they do experience some type of destruction or tragedy within life. This is a fact. And <clears throat> I find that when the planets transit in this nakshatra, that that's the time that we have the most, or when we have the eclipses that fall in this nakshatra of, of Ardra, there, there is massive events that happen of a tragic nature on Earth. So this nakshatra can deal with a very violent disposition sometimes, and it, do, it is relevant to talking about the dark night of the soul. People with this nakshatra can go through depression and sadness, but to know that after the stormy night comes the sunny day, this is what this transformation we all go through the dark night of the soul at some time in our life. You have to recognize we will all experience sadness. People die. Things happen. And this nakshatra can be reminiscent of this process 
of transformation of when we go from the darkest night of our soul to the brightest day, the next day, the transformation and what needs to be eliminated and what we need to let go of. Because many times <clears throat> people with this nakshatra strong don't know how to let go of things so they're forced. And this may come with tears, but what's on the other side? is that something good always comes of what we have to let go of, those destructive things. The things that probably we think are so great in our lives but are actually destroying us. So we have to learn to let this go. And there is where this transformational change comes from. So this is relative to talking about storms and sadness. But you know, on the positive side, this is about reno renovation, reviving things, making things like new from the past that are old and have been destroyed. Therefore, people with this nakshatra strong can do wonders with renovating homes, renovating uh, objects, anything. They have a talent to see what things can be transformed from out of the darkness. So with this, this is, remember, a nakshatra that deals with rain. Rain is a positive thing. Rain is something that we need on earth to make it fertile and grow. And that is, in essence, the light of this nakshatra. So out of, out of suffering comes transformation and letting go and guess what spirituality the truth because that's what lord shiva was doing in the destruction of maya to bring enlightenment and that is very real a very real part of this nakshatra so with that i'd like to close if you would like more information on learning vedic astrology you can go to my website which is university of vedic astrology.com. Thank you.